Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today in this video, we'll see how to install NLS services in multidimensional model mode. That is the MOLAP. Okay, so let's go to the SQL Server bits. Okay, I'm using SQL Server 2014 RTM bits. To initiate the install, you just need to click on the setup.exe. Okay, and I'll minimize this. So this will open a installation wizard where you have to click on the installation and click on the new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation, right? So we'll be adding this as a feature. So just like SSIS and RS, this is also a part of SQL Server. I'll close the previous window. Okay. And I'll stop the updates. Let's go ahead. The whole process is same for all the tools. There is only one or two features that you have to select within this wizard and we'll see okay let's proceed click next okay so uh, we are not going to do a new installation we are going to add a new feature to SQL Server 2014 so so we'll be choosing the instance name okay so SQL Server 2014 is the named instance that we installed click next Okay, so here are the all database features that we want to install, right? So in the first video, we just saw that we installed, just installed the SQL Server database engine. So for that, we chose database engine service and the management tools basics and complete. And after that, in the next video, we saw how to install SSIS. So we just chose the integration service. In this video, we'll see how to install analysis services and I'll just click on analysis services, right? So by clicking on this, you can check the feature description. It says, it includes analysis services and tools used to support online analytical processing, OLAP and data mining. Only database engine services and analysis services can be clustered. Uh, you just need to select the this option. Okay. And proceed ahead. Okay. And just like SSIS, you can use the account name, the service account here, right? With the password, whatever you want to give to get elevated access. Okay, so here we got two options. One is the multidimensional data mining model and another one is the tabular model, right? So by default, analysis services points to the multidimensional model because that's what the analysis services started with and all major OLAP cubes are multidimensional and tabular mode is a new feature that we got in SQL Server 2012, right? So tabular mode is nothing but a ROLAP model. That is the relational OLAP model. Okay. And multidimensional model is the MOLAP. That is the multidimensional OLAP model, right? So here we'll just see how to configure MOLAP. That is the multidimensional model. Okay. I'll add the current user to it. So we have added the current user, the windows NT login. I'll click next. Okay. And this is it. You just need to click on install and wait for the wizard to install all the files, right? So our installation has succeeded and I'll close this window. Now um, to check the SQL Server analysis services installation, I'll open SSMS. Okay. And here, you know, you, we have to choose the server type that is analysis services and I need to open the instance, right? So as you can see here, you know, integration services always points to the server level, not the instance level. Here, analysis services points to a instance level also, right? So I'll click OK and I'll click Connect, right? So like integration services, it doesn't require elevated accesses and I don't need to open this as uh, administrator, okay? So this is the only SSMS tool from where you can work with analysis services. You can create your uh, analysis services cube here, okay? And uh, this is all about installation of analysis services. Talk more about analysis services, how to work with analysis services and how to create a queue. Okay. And uh, how to write um, MDX queries in my forthcoming videos. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like it if you really like it. And please let me know your comments and suggestions so that I can incorporate them in future. And please subscribe. By subscribing my video, you will get to know about the videos that I'll put in future. And thank you very much.